What is going on everyone? Leon checking in. So today we're here to talk about Android messages on your computer, but I'm really excited about this because obviously this can be done on any computer, but I'm doing this on a Chromebook. I've got the Pixelbook here and this runs Chrome OS. Now you may be wondering what makes this so exciting if you can use Android messages on any computer? Why are you excited about using it on a Chromebook? Well, Google has this idea of better together and that is your Android phone working flawlessly with your Chromebook or your Chromebook working flawlessly with your Android phone. And having Android messages here and here, it just ties everything together, makes it better, better together. Now getting your Android messages from your Android phone on your computer is nothing new. In fact, there are Play Store apps that allow you to do this as well as Chrome web browser extensions. I actually reviewed one of these extensions called Push Bullet, and I'm gonna go ahead and link the video somewhere in the corner there so you can go ahead and click on that because you might prefer to use that versus using the Android messages website. So the ultimate question is exactly how good does this work? And all I gotta say is let's go ahead Let's get into it. So we're going to start things off by going into the Android Messages app for our Android smartphone. And as you see, we are at the home screen here. This would be where all your Android messages would normally be. But we're going to click on the three dots in the top right hand corner, and that's going to bring up a pop up menu. And as you see, we have an option for messages for web. And this is what's going to allow us to do our texting from our computer or our Chromebook. So we can scroll down here, and as you see, we're going to have a web address that we could put in our Chrome web browser and then we will have a QR code in the web browser that we could scan with our phone so here we are I put the web address into Chrome OS and this is the page that we're going to get and it's going to have some simple directions that we've already started but most importantly this is going to have the QR code on the right hand side here and we do have an option to remember this computer and I would turn that on because it'll probably be beneficial. But we're going to go ahead and scan the QR code with our phone. So after scanning the QR code with my Google Pixel 2 XL, the web browser automatically tucked me to this page here where I could go ahead and already start sending my messages. So we're going to click on new conversation and see what we can do here. So here we are, I added a contact and we're going to send a simple message. We'll go with hello there. And we can also add an emoji by clicking on the emojis here and selecting one. We can also add a sticker as well. And then we'll go ahead and send the message. Then we'll get a message back and this shows up just like it would in the Android Messages app on your Android smartphone. Now if we go back to the Android Messages app on our Android phone and click on our conversation, everything is going to show up just like it did when we sent it from the Chromebook. Now one of the things I see here that I didn't see in the web version of Android Messages is the suggestions here that we have at the bottom that we can click on and they automatically send. Okay, so as you can probably tell by the channel, I really love Google stuff. I love the Android phone. I love the Chromebook. I love all this stuff, but the goal is to be honest here. And I try not to read too many news stories here because I didn't want to develop an opinion based on what everyone else was saying. So I'm going to tell you just what I think here. So Android messages on your computer is like another one of those things that Google has added to the pile of all the other things that they're trying to do. And it, it, to me, it just doesn't seem that good. To be honest, we've got apps like Push Bullet and browser extensions like the Push Bullet extension. And that seems to work better for the time being. So Google could take some hints from these app developers and extension developers and make something really, really good where the Android phone and Chrome OS is going to truly work flawlessly. Now what I'm talking about is when you have the Chromebook open, when you have Chrome OS running, you won't see your Android messages unless you have your web browser open and you're actually on that messages.android.com website. 
You also won't get desktop notifications if you're not on that messages.android.com website. What this means is even if you have your Chrome web browser open, if you don't have that messages.android.com website open, you're not gonna know if you're getting any Android messages unless you have your Android phone right by you. But the other thing to consider is I can't even just put messages.android.com shortcut on the Chrome OS home screen. I can't drag it down to the bar at the bottom. If we could at least do that, it's just like Google just leaves you wanting more sometimes and it, it's just tough. So if we're going to make this work better, we're going to actually need a Chrome web browser extension from the Chrome web store. Now I did think if this is all supposed to be better together, why can't we just go to the Play Store on Chrome OS and download the Android Messages app, which is shown to be incompatible with Chrome OS. Okay, I was gonna say we can't do the Android Messages app on the Chrome OS because if you have a Windows machine or an Apple machine, how are you going to get your Android Messages? Google could put the Android Messages app on the Apple Store and on the Windows Store and that would fix it all. But I don't know, maybe there's a reason why that's not being done and we want to do the website. I don't know. Anyways, I think for me, this is a great idea. I'm glad that it's finally happening, but I think I'm going to be sticking with Push Bullet until this at least gets better. And the nice thing is I can still use Push Bullet. It's the extension in my Chrome web browser. And if I really am feeling like going to the actual messages.android.com website, then I will do that. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video and found it useful, please make sure you leave a like. As always, if you have any questions or comments, drop those below. And if you can, hit that subscribe button to support the channel. These videos, they do take time and money and it's always appreciated. The support is great. And until next time, Leon checking out.